The community benefits agreement for both the Chiefs and the Royals are now in the hands of the Jackson County Legislature. Fox 4 obtained the two documents as both teams gear up for a sales tax election for their stadium projects. It is one week from tomorrow. Fox 4's Jonathan Katz live now at the Jackson County Courthouse. He's been talking with lawmakers there. Jonathan, what are you hearing? Lauren, one thing that we found out that's in the CBA is a Jackson County Community Fund. It would basically give back at least $2 million per team to a board set up by leaders here inside of the Jackson County Courthouse and also set up by the teams. And then that board would basically then determine what charities get the money. I, that big book right over there is the Stadium Improvement Committee's work product, and it's all the leases and the previous negotiations. There were zero dollars committed from either team in the 2006 lease for anything like this. Jackson County Legislator Manny Abarca talked with us with the community benefits agreements in hand. It details commitments from the Chiefs and the Royals, including a new fund called the Jackson County Community Fund. The Royals promised to give back three and a half million dollars annually over their 40 year lease. The Chiefs would give back two million a year. A board would oversee the money and give it to local nonprofits. That total fund is net new dollars uh, in addition to the historic giving both teams are, are um, giving at three million dollars annually as a new productive benefit for Jackson Countyans. Fellow Jackson County legislator Sean Smith says this new fund should not involve the county at all. I'd really like to see us disconnect the politics that are inherent in government roles away from the good that those organizations can do. The committee to keep the Chiefs and Royals in Jackson County also sent out a letter to Jackson County legislators Monday afternoon. For two and a half years, the Chiefs and the Royals attempted to directly engage in constructive conversation with County Executive Frank White about the future of our teams in Jackson County. And for two and a half years, we have been met repeatedly with barriers to progress. We asked for an interview with Executive Frank White. His office has not responded to our request. The Chiefs could also agree to construct four bus stops over at GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium where fans in the future could take KCATA buses to the game or workers could take buses to the game, something Abarca says you can't do right now. Lauren. Jonathan Katz at the Jackson County Courthouse now. Thank you.